This is a uh, technique that's going to show you something like this, where you have your texture picture, but you can see the edges of your texture picture, and you can still see the outline of your portrait. So it's almost like that texture fades or starts to blend in uh, to the hair or to the face. So here's a few other um, examples of what that could look like here. Let me find one. So something like this, where again, it's fading. That texture is fading in with the face. Um, so what we're going to do to get started with that is in Photoshop, open up the texture picture that you want to fade into your image. So for example, this is going to fade into my portrait where you're going to be able to see the outside of the cityscape on the side of the face. So what you can do to get started once you have your image open is basically get rid of the background so that you just have the city or you just have your trees and the sky is completely gone or whatever is in the background of the image. So to start out, the first thing you can try, there's two different ideas here. The first would be uh, to make your image black and white. So I'm going to image, adjustments, and then black and white. And if it works for your image, you could change that sky color to being completely white. Um, by changing the blue values, what it's doing to my picture, though, is it's changing the city a little bit too much. So I don't really like what it's doing to my city there. So for my specific image, I'm going to go with the second way to do this. Um, but if when you start changing these colors and sliding them around, if it starts to make that background completely white and your image or your texture still looks okay, then go with that. That's going to be the simplest and hit okay. And you should be good to move on to the next step. Um, if that didn't work for you, what I would do is just mask off and delete the sky. So to delete the sky, I'm just going to grab my quick selection tool, which could be hidden under another selection tool over here. So just click and hold it down, grab your quick selection tool, and if you click and drag, it should fairly easily select the skyline for you. Um, you'll notice or whatever you're doing for your picture. You'll notice it did select some extra um, buildings that I do not want selected. So I'm just going to grab my subtract from selection tool and just go in a little bit more here um, and get rid of those areas that I do want in my selection. So I'll just add a skyline over here. And then for this, I'm going to unlock my layer, just hit delete, and it will get rid of uh, the sky there. What I would recommend before you delete, though, is to go in with the select and mask and just make sure that everything is cleaned up how you want it. So I'm going to the overlay here, and I can use this uh, second setting on the left to just select a little bit better of an outline for me, especially if you have something that's a little bit more detailed than this. Um, this will help a lot to get to get that detail picked up into your image, into your texture. Again, same thing. You can hit OK when you're done, and then hit Delete, and it will get rid of that section. Now what you're going to do is take this picture and add it to your portrait. So make sure that you have your portrait open that you're going to be working with. And I'm going to grab the texture and click and drag it over on top of this image. And then I'm going to hit Command-T on the keyboard and this is going to allow me to adjust and line up my picture where I want it to go uh, with my portrait. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit and line it up on the back half of the face. It also might help while you're lining things up to lower your opacity of your top layer, so of the texture layer here, so that you can kind of see where things are going to line up once you start to uh, mask things off. But once you feel like it has uh, been lined up okay, you can bring that opacity back up. I'm also going to make my portrait black and white uh, just so that it matches my texture, but you could leave uh, one or the other in color and that could be something interesting to play around with as well. But for right now, I'm going to just make it uh, black and white and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to click back on my texture layer and holding down Option, I'm going to click on the mask, which again is that square with the circle in it in the bottom of the screen, and that's going to mask off my texture layer. 
So now that I have my mask added, I'm going to make sure that mask is selected and I'm going to click on my paintbrush. I already have this image created as my brush, but if you don't, just hide that top layer, click on your background, go to edit, define brush preset to create your brush. Now you're going to want your color. You're going to want your color set to white with this brush. And again, make sure you're on your mask layer. Make sure that opacity is set to 100. And I'm going to line up my mask the best I can with that portrait. And once it's lined up um, pretty well, I'm going to click to start to bring back that city texture. So again, line things up. Click to bring it back. If you click a few times, it'll make it um, stand out even more. And now what I'm going to do is just touch things up with my paintbrush. So I'm going to grab right now a new brush. I'm going to grab one of the soft feathered edges and bring my size down a bit. And then using white, I can start to bring this city back. So I want to bring um, the back half back over here. I'm just going to start bringing that in. And then you'll want to try to line things up with the top of the face over here. And this might be an area where you don't want a feathered brush, but you want more of um, a brush with a hard edge around it. So let's see if I can find one. The computer's taking a minute to load, but I'm going to grab for now this one right here, and that might help to touch up the edge of where the hair is and then where I want the city to go to. And then on the other end, if you switch your color to black, and I'm going to grab that feathered brush again, I can start to smooth out where the city starts. So where this texture starts and where it starts to fade into the city. So I'm going to lower my opacity and start to fade a little bit more in the middle here. So maybe where this hair is, I can really touch up a lot more. Um, and maybe I want to see the top of the hair. So I'm going to lower that opacity of the city here. I'm going to fade that out a bit. Blend this texture. Um, you can go back and touch up what the city or what your texture actually looks like. So again, maybe I'll lower um, this over here and have it just fade into this city with the hair. I'm going to bring this back. But really a lot of this is just playing around with the paintbrush, play around with the opacity to try to blend and fade things. And then looking too at using black and white to go back and forth. So maybe I got rid of too much of this over here so I can start to bring a little bit of this back. But just keep going back and forth with your texture.